Hey guys, welcome. Today we'll be learning about a new topic that is sericulture. So, what is sericulture actually? Now you know about the silk, which is the most popular fiber these days. Uh, it is used in your mother's silk saris and also in fishing nets, in parachutes, right? And that is why it is also known as queen of textile and bio steel. It has a very smooth test texture you can see but it is not an eco-friendly practice because it involves the killing of silkworms so it is not actually a good practice now what is sericulture actually sericulture is a cultivation of silkworms okay to produce the silk it is a agro based industry it involves raising of food plants for silkworm then rearing of silkworm then they produce the cocoons then the reeling takes place then spinning of cocoon takes place and then production of yarn takes place among the species there is one species of silkworm it is bombyx mori which is the most widely used silkworm for sericulture it is both art and science of raising silkworms for the production of silk now hmm so from where did all this begin sericulture and the weaving of silk cloth was invented by lady zeling shi also called as zeling the wife of the mythical yellow emperor who is said to have ruled china in about 3000 bc so let's listen the story with the help of pictures So there was one Chinese empress her name was Zeling she was once drinking a tea un- under a tree can you see afterwards that when she was drinking the cocoon from the tree fell into her hot tea and that time she was trying to remove that and when she got the hold of it she noticed that that the cocoon was no more a cocoon she was getting some fibers out of it and that time she told that this will be called as silk and zeling zeling she was not only introducing the sericulture but she had also invented the loom on which the silk is woven in chinese texts she is also called as the goddess of silk you know because she had invented the silk right now what is importance of sericulture we have understood how sericulture was invented or how it was discovered same way we are going to learn about importance of sericulture it provides gainful employment to the farmers or the workers who work in the silk industry okay it also ensures the economic development of a country it improves the life of people in rural areas because um, in older times they had to go to the ru- rural areas were supposed to go to urban areas in search of employment which was taking a lot of time and it is also suitable for women so it just ultimately results in the double income of the family right now what are the methods of sericulture the pr- production of the silk that is mulberry silk sericulture follows three stages that is multiculture silk worm rearing silk rearing after that the silk filaments are woven to form thread and then we get the yarn now let's understand the rearing of silk worm so a uh, female silk moth just lays an egg after that uh, the eggs which are got by humans what they do is they just dis- disinfect them with the help of the 2% of formalin solution then a bed is prepared and that mulberry leaves are sprinkled and there on that the silk worms are kept for feeding after that they start feeding on the mulberry leaves when they have a good appetite they just leave the eating afterwards again they eat and they eat and eat and eat till they 
get to their final feeding stage. After reaching their maturity, the larvae begin for the hostile places to begin their pupation. After this, they just just oh, spin the cocoon around themselves and then afterwards you know how it is done. This cocoon is forcefully thrown into boiling water and then the silk is silk fibers are removed from the cocoon. They are woven. They are just removed. Now, where is the sericulture practice in India and why it is practiced? It is practiced in many regions. Like it is India is the only country producing all the five known commercial cells that are mulberry, tropical tessar, oak tessar, eri, muga. India is the second largest producer of silk in the world, right? Second largest producer of the silk in the world. Mulberry sericulture is practiced in different states like Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bodoland, West Bengal, Jharkhand, and Tamil Nadu. Now, the northeast region of India is has a unique distinction because it is the only region producing all the four types of the silks that are Mulberry, Octasar, Muga, and Airy. Now, let's study about the advantages of sericulture. It is useful in many situations like it is a primary ingredient for the silk clothes like silk saris. It is used for manufacturing fishing fibers, parachutes and filter cloth. In medical industries, it is used for dressing materials. Now, basic advantage of this silk sericulture is that farmers can earn by practicing this. Women can also handle this cultivation and as a result it results it results in the double of income of the family now as it has advantages it also has some disadvantages it is not considered as an eco-friendly practice because it ensures the killing of the silkworms then it uh, uh, the pl places are not properly ventilated and that's why it leads to suffocation and respiratory problems Many toxic fumes are released which also results in the toxic, uh, toxic gases and that's why it also results in respiratory problems. It also leads to illness and infection and standing for a long time leads to severe packages, spine problems and problems related to vision. And because of this machines, it, uh, loud voices of the machines it also leads to hearing problems so as silk is good it also had some disadvantages so we must try to just minimize the use of silk as possible and use rayon which is an artificial silk so thank you and if you like the video please do subscribe and